Well, what's up guys and welcome to today's video. It's a beautiful day and I'm just getting some steps in before I go to get my blood tested. Now, one of the biggest questions I got during my time period as a personal trainer and online coach, everybody always wanted to know what supplements they should be taking. And to be honest with you, I could never really give those people a proper answer because I simply didn't know the answer. Everyone is very, very different from one another and require different supplements. And one of the true ways to actually know what supplements you need and what you're deficient in is to actually get your blood tested. So I'm gonna go now to get mine tested and see what I am lacking in. I love blood tests, I absolutely love them. For anyone who isn't aware, which is everyone, I'm extremely squeamish and I hate needles. I don't know what it is, I get so, so frustrated that I'm like that. Maybe I had some trauma I experienced when I was a kid, but like literally the thought of like a needle going into me like, just makes me want to pass out. So, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I want to lie down with you. I hate blood tests. <laughs> I might just, Take into it. I might throw up all over you. <laughs> so we should avoid white colors? Oh. <laughs> Then I will be getting six tubes. Six tubes yes. worth. Right, I'm definitely because gonna have to lie down. <laughs> they will be testing a lot for me. I've had it done before, but last time I was lying down, it was very peaceful. Ah, you want to lie down? Should have got a black sofa. Should have got a red sofa. <laughs> By the way, if anyone knows like how to not be squeamish as hell, like please leave a comment and help me out because it's like really annoying. <laughs> Six tubes, Jesus. But it's quick. It wasn't quick last time, so I was lying ah. down and it was the blood was coming out really slowly. Ah, if you want it to be done fast, then I should use a larger needle. <laughs> but that would be more painful. Oh. <laughs> so this one is small with needle. Why do I hate this so much? It's like my body knows something is happening. My mind is like mm, messing with myself. Yeah. Ah. Is it working? Is it working? Hello? <laughs> Are we done? Yes. Inhale, baby. Your green is quite big. Have you seen any other big veins like that? <laughs> I actually this is the big and uh, biggest vein I've ever had. <laughs> Biggest pain she's ever had. I should have tried the bigger needle. Oh yeah, we could have done, but then I would have passed out. Yeah. <laughs> we did it, guys. We did it. <laughs> bye bye. Bye, thank you. It's a very valuable package that that blood is worth a lot of money. So I should get my results in around seven to 10 days time. Now the company is called Bionique and what they'll do is they'll send a nurse to your home, they take a sample of your blood and based on that, they send it off to a laboratory and analyze what is in your blood, see what you're lacking in, what you're potentially abundant in. And based on that, they will provide you with the optimal formula and combination of vitamins, which is gonna be suited best for your body. But enough on that for now, I'm gonna do a follow-up video once I get my results. Make sure that you check out the link in my description so you can read more about the company Bionique. And particularly, if you are living in London, Dubai, or Abu Dhabi, you have access to actually getting your blood work done and getting the customized formula done for you. Oh, it's good to be back in the old Jaguar. Now I'm off to the gym, B1 gym, to link up with a guy you may have heard of, you may not have heard of. I don't really ever collaborate with particularly young people, especially 20 year olds, but I have to hand it to this guy. He's basically making all the moves which I was making when I was 29 years old. So uh, I respect the guy, I rate what he's doing and he's a massive inspiration to a lot of youngsters out there, particularly those who are trying to make it in the fitness game. back in the land of the mighty mighty Benus. It's just had a massive extension. There's literally like four giant rooms now. It's 
I'd say it's probably one of the best gyms here in Dubai at the moment. I'm here with all the force that we say in. We're seeing people back in town, <laughs> back in the desert. So we're gonna be doing a workout today, I reckon probably like shoulders, biceps, a little triceps, bit a little bit of everything. And uh, we'll show you what's new in the new Manus gym. Let's rock. Did a really heavy chest session yesterday, so I'm gonna try to keep it easy on the front delts. Ready? No, I just said I'm gonna keep it easy on the front delts, you know? Nah, I'm gonna kill it today. As soon as he heard that I did a heavy chest session yesterday, he just picked up the 42s and started going crazy. Putting pressure on me, man. I still think it's mad. He's 11 years younger than me. 11 years? Yeah, I'm 31. Oh shit. I'm getting on now. I'm a middle aged man. What, what, what? When do you start training? I started at 14. Wow. I mean, it's been like five, five and a half years now, so I've learned a lot during the years. When I was like 16, I started focusing more on like compounds and like eating right and stuff. And that's when I like started a lot of progress. Andrew Jack, who told me to do one arm at a time. Oh, Andrew. So I'm following his footsteps. <laughs> you can't argue with Andrew, to be fair. Whatever he's doing yeah, is he working. Just like now, kind of doing like a superset, even though it's the same exercise. We're going to do standing lateral raises with really heavy dumbbell, okay? So, probably going to go up maybe two thirds of the rep, really overloading the lengthened portion of the movement. Then, we're going to sit down. Much more strict and we're going to go all the way up to the top with the lighter weight. So, aiming for around 20 reps. Yeah. we got Mike Thurston's in his natural habitat right here. So you should be familiar with this. You should, you should, like, should like bond with it and be like, yes, yes. I see what this machine is trying to do. Very straight. Ooh. Oh, look at that forearm. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, I think it's for like what a deceiving little attachment this is. Ooh, good session. Yeah, boy. So, first workout meal, I got some chicken, sweet potatoes, veg. Chicken, rice, basic. What's that? Is that a buffalo? Uh, no, this is something new they have. Oh. I think it's just like chicken curry. Yeah. Really good. It's pretty healthy. How does it feel being back? Because you came last year. Dubai. Yeah, I came. I came about a year ago, and was supposed to stay here for two weeks, extended to three weeks. Flew back for Christmas. Flew back out here for New Year's, and just stayed since. So you, you know, when you came out here, were you like, was any part of you nervous or like scared? Yeah, because it was like coming out here by yourself. It was so you, far away from home. You were, and I was, were you 19 at the time? I just turned 19 and I flew in my, myself and I didn't know a lot of people. So it was just, I just said, fuck it. Life is too short. And then I just flew out here and it ended up pretty good, I guess. Um, One thing that I like, admired and respected him, like he came out here and he just like networked with people. Yeah. He just went out and about like messaging people saying, hey, do you want to train, do you want to meet up, do you want to do something? Yeah. All of a sudden, like you were like hanging out with like a load of the big influencers. People. Yeah, and it happened so quickly as well. I think if you surround yourself with people that do like the same thing or like or higher up, then you're just gonna like make you work harder. And, like it's inspiration, you know. Mm -hmm. You see all those people work really hard, and when you are there yourself, you're gonna be more motivated and stuff. So you're in a position yeah. now, like you've got a lot of good lucrative sponsorships. You got your own app. Yeah. You got anything else which you're planning to I'm do? Starting my old clothing brand, which is hopefully launching within a month. It's been a year now. It's been a long process. 
you guys know me, you obviously know about this brand, but like, yeah, it's pretty big. And then, uh, I don't know, man, just gotta see how that goes. And then, where else? He's just, okay. he's like, yeah. enjoying his, like me, like enjoying life, yeah. doing what he wants to do, and care what other people think. But, but people don't see it behind the scenes stuff. Right, a lot of work, a lot of thinking. We always gotta come up with like new ideas and like, you know, it's a lot of mental stuff. And you gotta be on it with social yeah. media. Like yeah. Instagram, you got Snapchat, which you've been showing me, he's getting like 2 million views on Snapchat yeah, stories. Yeah, right, You've gotta be on it, on it, on it, on YouTube, it. But getting back there. Yeah, you gotta be consistent, like on it. And like not everybody can do it because, yeah, it's, it's hard, it's not easy. It's almost like you have to master the art of like, marketing yourself yeah like getting yeah. yourself out there and you don't have to be like a fitness person like whatever, it, whatever. industry you're in if you're good at it get it out there and let everybody know that you are good you, at need, it. you need to be yourself and like stick out as well you, yeah. can, you shouldn't be try to be like anyone else like there's only one mike thurston so he's gonna be the best person to be like mike thurston if that makes it i don't know so just like be yourself be genuine to yourself and just do whatever you want basically just do what you want. No. And if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't happen, then it doesn't happen. Like, but at least you tried. Yeah. Okay, okay. Six, 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 six. So one thing which I don't really show you guys is what I do almost on a daily basis. And I don't really show you it because it's pretty boring, but every day I'm out there generating some form of content. Because at the end of the day, there's two types of people on social media. Either you're a content creator or you're a content consumer. For someone like me, I need to be creating the content out there. And in the past, I've been focusing primarily on Instagram and YouTube, but I've started to realize that that's not really enough. There's other platforms which are on the rise, and I noticed with things like Instagram, it's harder to kind of get the same reach which people were getting back in the day. And I don't want to put all my eggs in one basket, so I'm branching out a little bit. Particularly, recently, I've been doing TikTok, believe it or not. Now, I don't really have much experience or knowledge on TikTok or how it works. But my man Elvis over there, come over here Elvis, he's literally been running my TikTok account. So far he's just been using old footage and putting it out there generating TikTok videos, but now we're actually going out there and generating unique content just for TikTok. How's it been going so far? It's going great man. It's uh, been a new experience for the mic and uh, exploring new platforms and new things, you know, just to reach more people, yeah. get our message. And I, I, at first I thought, I was like, no, I'm not doing TikTok. I don't want to be doing like stupid dancing videos, but there's actually ways where it's we more can, than that. Yeah, it's like really short uh, videos, just trying to provide just like little snippets of information. And so far we got up to like 80,000 followers, which is pretty good considering like we haven't really been going out there doing specific TikTok content, yeah. but now we yeah, are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now uh, at the action, smashing it and uh, it's good to see uh, younger people we can reach them more you know yeah. and teach them about these stuff you have learned in years you know so ever since I got back to Dubai I feel as though I've had endless back-to-back -back meetings and I thought today I'd show you a little behind the scenes of what goes on in one of them and this one in particular is with me a guy called Adrian who's doing my ads and a guy called Rodolfo who's doing a lot of my social media not only for the clothing but for my app as well so it's the first time these guys have met each other and to be honest with you there's a lot of wisdom shared so Sit tight, you might enjoy this, but I think there's definitely a few gems which you can take home, particularly if you have your own business and you're trying to grow your own social media or your own company. Um, so my name's Adrian, guys. I run Mike's ads. He's the ads master. So yeah, you probably saw a lot of Mike's videos if you subscribe to him on YouTube and on Facebook. So yeah, I'm the annoying guy. Before you even start thinking about running ads or anything, get your products right, right? Make sure that you know you have a solid product or you have a solid brand and it is like on point because then the advertising becomes easier and you can spend less dollars on your advertising. Like, if you have a bad product or if you have a bad brand or customer experience, ads is just like fucking causing you more problems. However, if you've got a good, solid product, solid brand, you're just taking the time out like Mike to make sure that the product is really good, you've condensed that knowledge, then when you put the ads, it's like fuel on fire, it's gonna fly. So number one, get the product right. Number two, get the customer service, the deliverability, everything, that's thing sorted. And three, you gotta have strong content and creative, which you know, this guy does a good job for. Rodolfo is the absolute master when it comes to planning the content, the campaigns, the creativity which he has. It's literally, it's like changed the game for the, for the clothing brand, first, without a doubt. I was just like posting pictures of just me and other people in the shorts and like it, there, there literally was the brand was just me there was no unique brand so we managed to kind of separate it from me 
and it is now like a brand in itself. Yeah, the whole structure and it's, it's working pretty well. We have like a vision, we have the product, we have everything, and I feel like the content is pretty much the story so we're telling. So Mike has a story, so the first meeting we had was like to discuss like what is the brand about? I want to understand. And we have like few words to understand. So make me translate whatever is in his mind to like a vision. So every time I'm thinking about we're planning like the strategy, we're planning like the campaigns, it's just like has to come to the point that I'm like, right, is that aligned with whatever he wanna tell the world, right? And it's been working fantastic because we're you know, he knows his audience, we're connecting like in the, in the way that, you know, traveling and just like lifestyle, whatever like that. So it's just a, a cool way of like telling a story and just boosting a story and just getting the story for you guys. So it's it's yeah. Also I think a big thing for Mike, why he does really well, is he's I hang out with a guy in real life. He is the same on camera as he is actually in real life. If you've ever met him, like he's authentic, he's not like he doesn't have like an online persona mm. that a lot of people do. Like a lot of people. Not I'm hating on people, it's fine to do that, but like you know, you meet people, you see the online version, you see the real version itself, and I'm like, they like have completely different accents or some shit. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, see, oh. <laughs> Don't know with any names. <laughs> but I think he does a little bit better with girls online than real. <laughs> 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 So a massive shout out to those two guys along with Elvis who's doing TikTok and Chris who's been filming and editing my videos since I've come back. I feel like there's a good little team in place. Everyone's productive, everyone is punctual and everyone's just enthusiastic. Uh, they, they want the best for me, they believe in the brand and that's exactly what I need. And at the end of the day, they're experts in their field and they're allowing me to just concentrate on what I do best and I don't get overwhelmed by trying to do everything which is often what I end up doing because I'm a bit of a control freak. No, if I want to continue to grow and progress and focus on the things that I can do along with just allowing me to have a bit of free time as well, I need to delegate and give other people jobs to do. So things are going good, really good. I'm happy to be back and I appreciate you guys who obviously been supporting me and watching the videos. If there's particular things which you want to see, I'm all ears, like leave a comment below. I want to know what type of videos do you want to see. Do you like the lifestyle videos, the vlogs, like something which I've done today, or do you, do you prefer like to the point educational videos like the fitness ones, which I did back in the day, which basically helped to grow my YouTube channel to almost what it is now. So I'm interested to hear your feedback because it does mean a lot to me. Anyway, I'm going to wrap it up there. Thank you very much for watching the video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it and I'll see you in the next one.